when I was told, I mean, like I said before also in Vizag, after the first test match, I said it at the press conference that uh, the communication between uh, me and the team management was happening for a long time about me opening the batting. Uh, so mentally, I was ready for it uh, because I knew it, it could come any time. Um, and then, uh, you know, uh, speaking of this particular knock, obviously uh, the most challenging, uh, I would say I haven't played uh, much. Uh, you know, I played only 30 test matches. Um, so, yes, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, what was thrown at me, uh, in, you know, in this particular test match, I would definitely say it, it was probably the most challenging one. Uh, see, opening the batting is a different challenge to bat batting at number six or five or seven at times. So, uh, you know, it's just about how you prepare yourself, what you talk to yourself in your mind about what you want to go, go, go out there and achieve. Because, uh, you know, playing the first ball of the match and uh, compared to playing after 30, 40 overs, it's, it's a different ball game. Um, there's nothing in particular that I've done in terms of technique, but of course I know the basics of, of the game. Uh, what, what you need to do as an opener uh, in whichever format you bat, uh, you know, because uh, the new ball does something. Uh, whatever conditions you play, we saw, you know, probably in uh, Ranchi and Pune, it did quite a bit. Uh, then the overseas conditions as well, like for example, Australia or something else. Uh, so, you know, uh, new ball, wherever you play, you have to have some sort of understanding about your game, uh, understanding the basics of the game rather, uh, which ball you have to play at, which ball you have to leave, uh, certain aspect of the game you need to be mindful of. So I was just trying to uh, be mindful of that. Uh, I didn't, uh, uh, I was allowing myself to take time uh, rather than, you know, going after the bowler straight away because with the new ball, of course, it's, it's, it's not a good idea. So yeah, but, you know, and as compared to number six, the ball is older, softer, uh, you know, you, you got to uh, play with little uh, low back lift and things like that. So there are a lot of things, especially I'm talking about this, these Indian conditions. Um, but of course, when you go outside, it's a different ball game, uh, you know. So yeah, that is the challenge I'm awaiting. Yeah, see, uh, our, our plan was very simple. Uh, when we knew there was something in the pitch for the bowler, we just wanted to respect that spell. Uh, and we knew the time will come for us to, you know, uh, uh, get those runs uh, in the second session. So we just wanted to play uh, the first session quite cautiously and then see where we stand uh, in the lunch. Uh, and then uh, once we got out uh, in the middle after lunch, it was Ajinkya who started taking that momentum, uh, you know, and it was him uh, who actually got us the momentum for, for the team, you know. Uh, so. Uh, I think, if I'm not wrong, he was batting on 40 or 43 balls uh, just around the first drinks after lunch. So, which means, you know, we we capitalize on the loose balls. Uh, we got those uh, um, uh, singles as well. So, the rotation of strike was happening every now and then, which is always good for a batsman. You know, when you keep changing strike, uh, uh, you know, it, it doesn't allow the bowler to just keep bowling there uh, because different different batsmen, different style of play, the, the bowlers have to adjust their length as well. Uh, so I think we did that pretty well. So in particular, Ajinkya, he came out and he started playing shots and, you know, from there he never looked back. Uh, the pr partnership after that kept growing and we we knew that, you know, it's, it's in India, you, you got to bat five sessions, uh, you know, to win the test match. If you want to win the test match, you got to bat five sessions, uh, get as many runs as possible. Um, so that was the idea. So we, we wanted to bat long and see where we stand, uh, you know, uh, the next day, uh, which is today, uh, during lunch, and then we can take the game forward, considering the weather after tea here doesn't look that great, you know, so we wanted to press and we wanted to get as many runs as possible and the weather uh, uh, also, uh, you know, the bad light, it's going to keep happening every day here, I assume. So we, we wanted to get as many runs as possible quickly today 
and then uh, give uh, South Africa to bat little and see what we can do. And we're happy that we got two wickets.